Okay, so here is my topic. It's about the green button JavaScript and the PHP. And uh, it's my pleasure for sure this talk to the Norman PHP Lightning talk. And uh, here, here is the online. And uh, I want to uh, introduce myself. Then I, I, I sure what, what is green button and uh, talk a short introduction about uh, how to implement this standard in PHP and the JavaScript. And uh, the last, uh, last uh, point is about green button libraries introduction. And uh, I will show some uh, green button libraries and uh, and uh, and uh, make you uh, and allow you how to use them and uh, to generate uh, uh, HTML data with a green button standard. Uh, so firstly, I introduce myself. Uh, I'm Peter, and the uh, second point is about my GitHub profiling. And uh, I'm also an active open source contributor on GitHub, and uh, I'm a software engineer, and uh, I, I'm good at uh, DevOps and the back end. Uh, I have three, over three years for PHP development, and uh, I also uh, use uh, PHP 5.3 and to uh, PHP 7 plus. Uh, I also use uh, no framework and uh, Slim, and uh, now I I love uh, use I love to use Laravel framework. Uh, I also uh, I I work for uh, Etree currently. Uh, Etree the long name is is here Industrial Technology Research Institute, and uh, I. I also research a lot about smart grid technology. And uh, the green button is also a part of the smart grid technology. Uh, so why is green button? Uh, in, uh, in 2012, uh, the White House, uh, a White House is uh, in, in, in America. Uh, White House call to action to provide utility customers. And uh, they announced a standard and uh, is uh, easy and uh, secure access to their en energy usage information in a consumer friendly and a computer friendly format. Uh, that is, uh, they provide uh, energy usage information format and the uh, customer information information uh, format and uh, it uh, it also includes the following following uh, energy usages such as uh, electricity uh, natural gas and uh, water usage and uh, electricity and uh, uh, is uh, is the today 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 point uh natural gas and uh, water usage is uh, out of my talk so i don't and i, I don't mention this uh, in my talk and uh, we can also know uh they use uh atom, atom uh, plus snl base uh, to generate the green button data and uh, the second is how to implement this standard in PHP and the JavaScript. Uh, actually, uh, I, I have to say it's very hard uh, because uh, if you want to uh, develop uh, the green button uh, data generator, uh, you have to uh, look at their green button uh, standard, uh, such as the SML schema, and uh, there are many and many stops, and uh, you may and, and you don't know how to get started with. Uh, but uh, I think don't be worried about that. Uh, I I developed 
a green button data converter and uh, to make you to make you uh, easy to develop the green button data generator and the, and the parser. Uh, here is uh, my JavaScript library. And if you use the JavaScript a lot, uh, you can use uh, NPN command. And the uh, NPN command is the uh, uh, no package manager and, uh, e and it's very easy to install this one. Uh, just type uh, NPN I uh, green button a data converter and uh, you can install this one to pass and uh, generate a uh, green button data. Uh, here is the uh, sample code uh, for using this JavaScript library. Uh, firstly, uh, you can uh, define a data writer and uh, in, in import this library and, uh, and uh, you can uh, define the options. Uh, the options is very uh, is, is very readable. Uh, interval duration is about uh, your energy uh, your energy like a smart meter uh, the time duration and the time period duration is about uh, how long take it takes uh, this uh, the the, fre the frequency uh, the read read smart meter uh, frequency and uh, the reading date and uh, the interval readings and uh, the inter uh, in the and uh, the smart grid value and uh, the timestamp and uh, we can notice that uh, this one uh, it will be uh, more one or more the interval readings and uh, the power temperature multiplier zero and uh, the UON seventy two, and uh, it's they are about the smart grid uh, knowledge. Uh, if you want to know about the details about uh, this and the, these uh, stuffs, and uh, you you can you can check out the official grid button website, and uh, I will show the reference. Uh, in my last slide, my in my last slide, and uh, after defining options, you can use data writer and uh, instance create new instance data writer and uh, has the above options. Then you can opt using console.log to opt this one. Uh, if you are not the JavaScript fans. Uh, you can use my another PHP package. Uh, it's about the PHP green button, and uh, it's also very easy to use. Uh, just uh, use the carbon. Uh, it's a data. Uh, it's a date date time uh, formatter, and uh, use my use my uh, customer data writer class, and uh, you can. Uh, it's very uh, simple, so you can just uh, define the options and uh, use the title, count ID, meter for more, and uh, you can just uh, create a uh, customer data information with a green button standard. Okay, so uh, here is the command to install uh, my green button lab, uh, package. Uh, if you can you just use a uh, composer require and uh, the BHP green button and uh, you can you can just uh, install my you can just install this one and uh, you can use all of the sample codes and to to generate a green button data happily uh, some some uh, this uh, uh, above libraries and uh, packages uh, is now developed as uh, as well, and uh, some uh, some some features uh, need need to be implemented uh, at uh, uh, perfectly. So uh, energy usage usage point generator, uh, I 
I'm work in progress. So if you want to care about this, this my two libraries, uh, you can use, and uh, you can give me my feedback or create issue, uh, even a pull request uh, to me. And then the, uh, and it's about a reference. A uh, green pattern reference uh, is a, is the given DND value data. This one is a very important website. Uh, because uh, if you generate your green button, but yeah, you you don't know uh, this green button data standard is is verified. So you can just upload your SML to this website, and uh, let this website uh, verify your verify your green button data, and uh, make sure your green button data is uh, is verified. And then the second one is a library. And the library is about a green button, the whole system architecture. Uh, today, my talk is about the green button data. And uh, I focus on green button data generator and the, the parser. Uh, if we want to build a whole, or whole system architecture with a green button standard, uh, you, you may have to uh, look at this website. And then the last one is the green button that GitHub dial. Yeah, it's the static GitHub page. And the, uh, it's about the green button and the green button standard uh, include, and it also includes a uh, green button format. Uh, the, the last one is uh, libraries. And the, the list of both my sample codes uh, and my libraries and my GitHub and here is my GitHub repositories, and you can watch and learn how to use them and give me some feedbacks to these repositories. And thanks.